There we go. I think I've got it fixed. Just a moment. Hang on, what's going on? Oh, Smudge, Smudge. Hi, I didn't realize you were joining the service, buddy. I haven't seen you since we left Christchurch. I know. You left me behind. It took me six months to walk here. Oh, I'm sorry, Smudge. I thought you wanted to stay up in Echuca. I did. But then crossing the bridge every day became a big deal. <laughs> I burst out of the border bubble and come here to Bendigo. Uh, well, Smudge, it's great to see you, but things aren't that much better here. But, hey, say, Smudge, why are you wearing a mask? It's for protection, George, from corona. Well, I'm sorry, Smudge. I, I, I don't know how to say this, but I don't think it's going to work. I think you're missing something. Really? You know what? I was actually thinking the same thing. This okay. latest lockdown's got me thinking I need some better protection. Yeah. I've got something. Hang on, just a minute. That's much. Come back. I, that's not what I meant, buddy. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Ta-da! Smudge, that's not how you wear a mask. I know that, George. I'm a puppet, not a fool. You're the fool. This isn't a mask. This is the helmet of salvation. Uh, this should save me from Rona. The smudge, I'm sorry. I don't think that's going to work either. You're still missing something. Right. You, you think I need more still? Got it. No. Just a minute. It's smudge, that's not quite what I meant. There we go. One breastplate of righteousness and a belt of truth. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm fully kitted out. Uh, I won't get anywhere near me. Uh, smudge, I think you're still missing something, buddy. It's You haven't quite got it. You're right. I forgot something. No. Just a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry, smart everybody. Smudge, he doesn't always quite keep up with it. Ah, here we go, George. Now I've got the whole kit on. I've got the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shield of faith, and the sword of the spirit. Ha ha! No runner for me. <laughs> uh, Smudge, it all looks very, very impressive, but you're still fit missing something. Fully kitted out. 100% protected. It's, it's very impressive. You're still missing something. I don't think you've quite got it. No, I tried to put on the shoes of the good news of peace, the word of the gospel, but it, they didn't work. I don't... Oh, Smudge, why didn't they work? What's going on? That's not quite what I meant, but why didn't the shoes of the gospel of peace work? I don't have any feet. They fell off. Oh, oh Smudge, that, I'm sorry, buddy, but, but that's still not what I meant. Well, what do you mean, George? I've put on the whole armour of God, just as Paul says in the end of Ephesians 6. And you're right, Smudge. Paul does talk about putting on the, the whole armour of God as we struggle against enemies, not of blood and flesh, but of spiritual forces. And he says if we want to stand firm, we've got to put on the whole armour of the God. The helmet of salvation. Yep, the helmet of salvation. The reminder that Jesus sets us free from sin and death. Yeah, he speaks of that. That's right. And he speaks of... The of truth, check. Yep, the, the belt of truth, the truth of God's word and the, the call to speak truthfully ourselves. Yep. He, breastplate of righteousness, check. Yep, and the breastplate of righteousness, that God's righteousness is now ours, that we're made righteous and we're to live righteously. He, he does speak of all those things. Yep, and, and also, as you've got there, he speaks of the, the shield of faith. Faith, yep. Yep, there's the shield of faith that we can cling on to when we struggle to keep believing. Yep. Spirit, yep. And he speaks of the, the sword of the spirit by which we're empowered to live for God. Yeah, yep. I said that. They fell off. Yeah, and the, the shoes of the gospel of peace. He speaks of all of those things as part of the armor of God, not actual armor that we put on, but spiritual armor, these things that we live in as we continue to follow Jesus. But, but why not, George? 
But yeah, that's they're not going to save you from Corona, uh, from COVID smudge. That that's not what they're about, and they're not going to work for you because you're a puppet. Puppets don't get COVID. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh smudge. But thank you for the good reminder of the need to put on the armor of God. And you know the other thing Paul says at the end of that bit in Ephesians 6, of after we've put on the whole armor of God, we need to remember to pray also, to, to pray always, to be alert, to keep on praying. Yeah, let's pray. Yeah, let's pray now, Smudge. Let's pray. Gracious God, we pray that you'd help us to not just wear our masks as a means of keeping us and others safe, but to wear and to put on every day the armour that you give us, the things that you empower us with so that we might live for you. Uh, the reminder of the salvation we have in Jesus, the truth of your word, the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit, the breastplate of righteousness and shoes closed, clothed with the gospel of peace. Help us to put all this on, God, and to pray that we might follow you every day. All right, George. Great to see you. Catch you next time. Bye. Good to see you, Smudge. Bye. Great to see you, buddy. Bye. See ya. Bye.